Hello everyone and welcome to another video review from 3dgameman.com. I'm Rodney Reynolds and today I'm having a look at the Silverstone Strider Titanium 800 watt power supply. Now the model number on this one is ST80F. TI, and I'll say this right off the top, this thing is super impressive. Not only because it's titanium and because of that, it's going to be very, very efficient, but also it is completely modular, comes with Japanese capacitors, and has a quiet fan. And you get all of this in a very compact package. It comes in this great looking, very informative box that does have pictures as well as features and specifications about it. Included is a spec manual, a user's manual, and on the left side they include a magnetic dust filter and the power supply which is in a plastic bag. On the right side there's this box and in it they include this bag and in that they include some velcro ties some plastic cable ties as well as eight screws now four of these are thumb screws and four of these are regular screws so they do give you that option the power cord and all of the flat flexible modular leads. Now currently there are three power supplies in the Strider Titanium series, the 600 watt, 700 watt, and this one, the 800 watt. So that does give you some options there when you're choosing a power supply for your computer system. And like their Platinum series, the main focus with these power supplies is enabling unprecedented quality of power in a small package and mainly to enthusiasts because otherwise you'd probably go with, you know, a bronze or a gold power supply to save money. Now note that these are the smallest fully modular ATX power supplies around which makes them compatible with just about any ATX case on the planet even small form factor cases. Now let's talk wattage and to understand this you need to know what rails are and rails are basically well-regulated transformers which convert domestic current into the voltages that your computer system can use and there are essentially two different rails the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail and the 12 volt rail. Now in this particular case the approximate maximum peak output of the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is 120 watts and the 12 volt is 792 watts which is essentially how the wattage of this power supply is determined and oh the peak wattage for this power supply is 800 and 50 watts. Now the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is responsible for the motherboard, memory, PCI cards and so on, while the 12 volt rail is responsible for the hard drives, optical drives, fans, CPU, video cards, etc. Now it's also important to know the peak amps on each rail and both the plus 3.3 volt and plus 5 volt rails are 22 amps each and it has a single plus 12 volt rail which is 66 amps. Also the power density is 413 watts per liter. Now in all my power supply reviews, I detail what's important about the power supply. If you've heard it before, you can go ahead and skip this if you want to, although there is some important information in here that's specific to this power supply. Now the first is wattage. You want to determine how much wattage you are going to require by the amount of hardware that you will be installing. Generally speaking, a medium to high-end gaming rig would require a 500 to 700 watt power supply. For a hardcore system, select a power supply that's around 800 watts. If, however, you are building an extreme gaming rig with a top-of-the-line multiple video card setup with lots of other hardware, select a power supply that's 1,000 watts or greater. Second, it should be at or above 80% efficiency and this power supply's efficiency is 90 to 94 percent at 10 to 100 percent loading. Super, super incredible. I mean, after all, this is a titanium power supply, right? And oh, it has a plus or minus 3 percent regulation and low ripple and noise performance for high stability. Third, it should meet the latest ATX and other current standards, environmental directives, over voltage, under voltage, and other protections. And thankfully, this power supply meets all current standards. Fourth, I'd recommend choosing a power supply that has APFC. APFC or active power factor correction assists the power 
supply in being more efficient and therefore stable under load. APFC basically reduces total harmonics, corrects input voltage, and it allows for full input voltage range. And thankfully, this power supply has APFC. Fifth, there are three main certifications, AD Plus, NVIDIA SLI, and AMD Crossfire. Now, many of today's high-end power supplies will meet one or more of these certifications, and this power supply meets the AD Plus Titanium certification. And while, as far as I know, it doesn't meet the NVIDIA SLI and AMD Crossfire certifications, it will have no problem handling most of those multiple video card setups. Six, look for a power supply that uses Japanese capacitors because generally speaking, it ensures a much more reliable product than a power supply with low grade capacitors. Like for example, if you did buy a cheap power supply and they're all Taiwanese capacitors, then well, that power supply might not perform and last as long as one like this that has all Japanese capacitors. Finally, get a power supply that has enough leads for your setup. Also consider one that has a modular design like this power supply because it does reduce the cable mess inside of the case. And that also increases airflow, which will definitely aid to keep everything cool. Also, very important to get a power supply with an excellent warranty. And this power supply comes with a three year warranty. And that's a little bit surprising considering it is a titanium power supply I would have expected a five-year warranty for this product. They have their logo stamped in here at the top. Note the rough finish they have on this. Quite nice. So it looks awesome. As well, they include a very quiet 120 millimeter fan, plus there's lots of ventilation. So this power supply will remain cool in just about any environment. Note that they have a power connection here for the power cord, but there isn't a power switch, which is too bad. Now this power supply is fully modular and the modular leads are just brilliant. I love these black flexible leads because you can route them literally anywhere. Finally, have a listen to the fan. Really, there's nothing not to like about this power supply. Oh, okay, maybe the price. But if you can get beyond that, it is just outstanding. It comes with all Japanese capacitors. It is 100% modular. The fan that's included is very, very quiet and it's titanium, but very, very compact. Overall, this is a 100% kick-ass product. Until next time, take care. Well, that's it, but I hope you enjoyed the review. And if you think this and other videos that I produce are great, please like them, share, and subscribe to the channel. Also, your comments are very welcome. And if you have any questions, let me know.